everyone, happy Friday. It's Lisa here with your weekly update for Live Love Animal Rescue. So let's start off talking about our intakes. Now, um, we actually don't have any intakes for this week and I do need to let you know that we have closed intake again. Um, we are really needing to shift our focus here to our long stay dogs to get them adopted. So I wanted to point out a couple dogs that we really need you to share their stories, like share them everywhere, all your networks. First off, Hannah. Hannah's been in rescue since December of 2019. We really need to find Hannah's forever home. Um, she's a dog who can either be an only dog or can integrate with another large dog, um, preferably one that's not too, too playful. Um, but she is a very sweet and mature lady and she would love to find a spot to um, just, you know, hang out on her dog bed and keep you company because that's the kind of gal that she is. Um, Fawn, Fawn has been in rescue since December of 2020. She is also coming up on her one year rescue anniversary um, and we would love to find Fawn her forever home. Um, Fawn would be ideal as an only dog. Um, she's very mellow and low key. She's a great snuggler. Um, so please reach out if you're interested in more info on Fawn. Uh, Charlie has been in rescue since October of 2020. Um, he is blind, but doesn't let that slow him down. He's adapted very well to his foster home, um, and he's doing great with our forever foster, Fergie, um, who's also in his foster home. So it's kind of fun, two blind dogs hanging out and being friends. Um, Charlie can integrate with other large dogs, but he does take some time. As you can imagine, with the blindness, it takes him a little longer to adjust to new situations and new circumstances, so he needs somebody who's going to be just very um, understanding of what he needs. And then the last dog that I want to bring your attention to out of our long stay dogs is Liam. Liam's been in rescue since January of this year, 2021, and while um, I can't believe it's almost September, so we're, we're coming up on um, the nine month mark for Liam, and Liam has not had a foster home in this entire time. Um, not only do we watch him at the shelter for months before we pulled him, um, we've had him in training for many months since, um, since January when we pulled him. So. He's not had a foster home. We've uh, been sharing him for a foster home. We really need a foster home for Liam. So I would ask you humbly to um, shift your sharing efforts to Liam and um, share for a foster home. He would be ideal as an only dog in the home. He's great at Crate and Rotate. Um, he's really a good fit for someone who has a little bit more of an active lifestyle and who's willing to do some daily practices with regards to training. Um, nothing too crazy, but just, you know, keeping his skills fresh because that's the kind of dog that he is. He's a use it or lose it kind of dog. So we want to keep all the training that he's received over these past almost nine months. We want to keep that fresh and relevant for him um, and keep his new person fresh and relevant in his life. So please share for a foster home, better yet, foster to adopt. And with Liam and any of our dogs that have received professional training, which is quite a few of them, um, they also come with training support for you as a foster or an adopter. So that's a really cool perk that we offer um, and we'd love to tell you more about it. All right. Um, also, one added note about our intakes. I did want to let you know that um, we do still have a wait list for dogs um, awaiting adoption returns. So if we are seeing any intakes in the next few weeks, um, it's probably going to be those dogs, but we are not going to be open for regular intakes so that we can focus on our long stay um, adoptable dogs. Um, now, speaking of fostering, because I know I, I gave Liam his little plug, and usually I give you the Liam plug and the Falcor plug together, but I have really good news, and that is that Falcor has a foster, yay! So thank you so much, all of you that shared his story. We really appreciate all the tags and the shares on social media. I, we think that made all the difference. So Falcor settling in, we'll hopefully give you some more information next week about how things are going with him, but so far, so good. Um, if you are interested in fostering, um, of course, Liam needs a foster. Wilson is also looking for a new foster spot. And we can always use backup fosters, um, especially when our fosters are looking to take a few days away, go on vacation, take a little time to themselves. We really need um, solid places for our foster dogs to go on a temporary basis as well. And hopefully if we can get some committed long-term fosters um, ready to go, then as soon as we're ready to reopen intake, we'll be able to take a good handful of dogs at the same time, which is really, something that we like doing. So fingers crossed, share, 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 uh, read our foster training manual. We've got lots of good information for you if you're interested. Okay, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, we have one foster to adopt for this week and that is Beauregard. We have a couple of finalized adoptions and that would be Lamb Chop, yay, and Pomegranate. 
Uh, next, we need to talk about medical as we always do. So guess what? We have a Forever Foster Lala medical update. <laughs> um, so Lala had a hot spot going on. So primary care um, was very, very gracious and fit her in to be seen uh, sooner than they normally would have been able to. They really helped us out there. Um, she got some antibiotics to address that and some medication to reduce the itchiness. So um, things are looking better and we're on the path to healing and hopefully um, we'll have another good update for you next week there. Jax also went in to see the vet this week. He had a recheck um, for the skin on his paws that we talked about being a little bit crusty before. So they are definitely improving, but we're going to be continuing with the medicated baths to make sure that we can really resolve that all the way. Um, we also had a couple of our intakes from last week, the week before. Uh, BG and Scrubs both went into the vet this week for their wellness exams and were determined to both be healthy and ready to be neutered. So we're excited about that, uh, or spayed and neutered for BG. Uh, avocado was also neutered and microchipped this past week. So that is all of the medical news that we have. Um, so just to give you your reminder for the week of other ways that you can get involved besides fostering, um, we do have volunteer uh, opportunities that you can get involved with. Please reach out if you're interested in that. Um, that could be dog transport, that could be organization of our rescue supplies, um, different events that we're looking to start re uh, going to on a limited basis. We're looking for volunteers for all kinds of things. So please reach out. Um, definitely sharing on social media. Like I mentioned earlier, our long stay dogs really need to be shared so that we can find um, forever homes for them. And then as, as well as our dogs that are in need of fosters like Liam and Wilson. So please share those stories. And then um, we can always use donations. Uh, donations enable us to provide top-notch medical care, um, to provide food and all the supplies for fosters, which not every rescue does, but we really deem it a priority to do that for our fosters. Um, and your generous donations help us to be able to do that. And then um, you can also donate physical supplies if you're interested through our Amazon wish list or our Cuddly campaigns. Cuddly also accepts monetary donations, so we've got some flexibility there, and it tells you the story of some of the different dogs that we have here in Rescue. Of course, we have, um, you, we can be your Amazon Smile charity, which is no work on your part whatsoever, um, and any other ways that you can think of, hey, let us know, and we'll be happy to share those too. But once again, thank you for your support, and we'll see you next week.